Hello guys, Savat here. Welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. Alright, so this time we've got the stage that we've got selected is... What, this Medium of Princess Dungeon? And we're going to go in here and try to go ahead and get this piece of equipment. Now, I haven't changed the crew around at all, so we still got the same guys in here. They are looking pretty good, and they were still already equipped with all of our favorite doodads and trinkets. I think they're going to do a fantastic job. This is a Medium Dungeon. Uh, we're just going to try to make a little bit extra cash. I didn't didn't do anything in the estate this time. So we're just going to chill on all of our stuff here. And we're going to go in and have a good old merry time. So, oh yeah, that was another thing that it looks like if you... Hold on. Let's sell these back. One of the new features, if you shift click, it gives you a full stack of everything. So that's awesome. We're going to bring two things of torches. I'm going to bring all the food. Two keys. Three shovels, three bandages, a couple of holy water, and another herb or so. I think this is good. We spent $3,000 getting ready for this, so we've got our shovels, we've got our food, we've got torches. We probably could use a little bit more torches, but eh, why not? Let's see what this uh, entails. Let's do it. All right. So, we're going into the ruins again. This should be a blast. Uh, our team is insanely strong as far as survivability, stress management, everything pretty much goes. This team has it all. It has some stuff that we definitely would like Pays to get rid of. The halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, oh, you already have boring. a secret room. That's awesome. So, I'm really stoked about that, as you can probably tell. We got the keys for it, we've got everything going. It's just, this is going to be a great run. I know it. Oh, we got to go back. Our secret room is here. Alright, so let's open this guy up. Use one of our two keys. Look at that. Pure profit. 15,000 gold right there. Alright, let's continue. Yeah, uh, that was weirding me out. The secret room appeared over here on the map, and I didn't know what to do about that. I was like, what? Um, should we try our luck at this? If we're going to try our luck, who is a good person to try our luck with? You. Let's do it. Alright, we got a little bit of stress. Eh. Sometimes you gotta risk a little. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Okay, so we know we have a fight coming up here. We already know this team is tried and true. The advance forward. Alright, we got a little bit of stress coming in from the back, and we got some bleeds coming out here. So our Jester has already captured 21 stress. I don't really like him maneuvering, or acting first, rather for the old gods dodge so I think I'm gonna have to switch these two around cuz another Ooh, one falls. love the crits though that's why I like them there and the repost too should definitely give us some return value I want to start getting a bleed off on these guys but I really think keeping the stress down is gonna be a pivotal thing in this uh, honestly um, he can't really do much but throw out a heal or the vulnerability hex, so another crit. That's going to be good for the stress. I'm liking this. This party is just so brutal. His dodges are on point, let me tell you. Okay, so the point blank shot is very good here. And our stress is looking pretty good. Should I go for a slice off? I think I will. Let's start giving them some bleeds back. Uh, still no transformation. The point blank moved him back again. Not a big fan of him starting off there, so I think I am definitely going to change that with the party formation. At least until I can get some items to maybe increase and reset their speed a little bit. Um, you're already bleeding. Let's go ahead and heal you up a little bit. We got a nice bleed on you two now. Again, the third dodge. That is awesome. So, out of four hits, he has dodged three. Um... Let's go ahead and hit you with the curse as well. I think maybe I should... No, I was thinking about switching him up. Confidence There's that the enemy him. Or switching him up uh, his, some of his skills, trying to give him his stab. I figured that would be good, but I know as soon as I do that, I'm going to be missing out on whatever I take off. 
Oh, we're already in this position. So this is not a great position to be in this early in the, the dungeon. I really don't want to give up gold. I think we already have this particular item. Not equipped, that's for sure. Yeah, let's drop that. And let's continue on our way. Alright, taking some bleeds, it's okay. If only treasure could staunch mm. the flow of otherworldly corruption. So we're already looking at having a lot that we need to take care of. I really don't want to give up heirlooms. So if that's the case, let's go ahead and use these. I know we can use those in here. Um, nope, that was the spot that I wanted him in initially. Not that I can control this game, apparently. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have our Abomination start off there because he is acting first, which is going to hopefully give him a turn to actually do something instead of just stress relief himself. We didn't catch a scout. I am going to go to this room first. I almost Curious immediately the regret... Maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. So we got rid of our items that we need to interact with this. So let's go ahead and risk it. Um, I think we're going to have to go without the jade for the time being. That seems to make the most sense. Let's hit up our light. We got an empty room. We did catch her, capture a scout, though. That's pretty useful. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling ballsy, actually. I think we can make it through this dungeon. We can fight every battle. We can have a good old time. This team is just so strong. I think this is a bandage, if I remember correctly. No, is it? An herb? Okay, so we're already in another spot. Do we drop the herb? I think we do. Let's eat up some of this food. That's what it was brought for. I use some of these torches. Stay in a decent amount of light. Um, let's go up. We're not running into a lot of combat this time. It's actually kind of unfortunate. Alright, so our last one of these was pretty bad. You want to give it a shot again? Oh, excellent. Wow. That was huge. We basically have the whole place mapped out now. So we know exactly what we're getting ourselves into. A spider. Hmm. I think the harvest is good here. Alright, we got web. Worst thing that could happen is the stuck. And it happened, of course. So the spit is now going to be pretty horrible. Year two, year two, both of y'all are dead next turn. This is a lot of damage coming in on him. Mm. All right, so the point blank shot is good here. Executed with impunity. Now he should go next, and he can heal himself up. Nah. Apparently, he's a little slower than I thought. Oh, he got the stun. That's why. I completely forgot about the stun. Um, I guess it's still good to go with the other heal. The slice off is good. The dodge is, is not going to work for us. These two should be dead. Unforeseen. But he... Unforgiving. he nice dodge. Alright, cool. I forgot our abomination here is a bit dodgy. I was kind of moving him up there so he could heal some stuff. I didn't expect the occultists to get actually uh, two really good heals off. So and that didn't pan out quite as I saw. We got the bleed. Alright, 
two points. You've got one hit point. You're dead. Let's do some stress relief. Let's go for the crit. Another abomination cleansed no from crit. our lands. But we still got the. Uh... Is that that's Remind two J's? That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Let's do that. Swap this guy back around. Um, Ten dodge, fifteen protect. That's good. I'll take it. All right. So, got some loot. Hundred gold. And who is our trap guy? Seventy, a hundred, eighty. You know what? Risk it. Awesome. I was about to say, basically, if he gets caught with the, uh, the stress, if he actually gets hit by the trap, we can try to remove it later. Alright, this looks pretty bad as far as fights go. I forgot to move the Abomination back, so he's going to be, yeah, in this situation. At least he gets some stress relief out of it. Uh, advance forward. Ooh, the dodge was not what I wanted to see there, but we got the repost active, so... That'll be good. This is going to do 5 to 8. Not quite enough. Will the pull forward be better? 3 to 5 puts him in range to be hit by others. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Seems good. Alright, so we got a quarrel coming in. 5 points. Not too terrible. And you can slice off. And there's a chance. As the fiend falls. Way to go. <laughs> blossoms. I like it when that happens. Ooh, got the post. Oh, no dodge this time. It's okay, we only got two points. Um, Let's buff everybody. That seems like a very good call. We're going to go for a stun. And again, let's try to pull this guy forward. we got the point blank shot, or I've got... Not gonna kill. Like shot will. Back to the ice. <laughs> These guys are brutal, man. Just brutal. The repost is good too. All right, we are starting to look a little worse for wear here. Um, yeah, we need to move you guys. Like this. Let's go ahead and clear some stress off yourself. Throw a heal on our highland. Man two-point heal isn't exactly what I wanted to see, but hey. Can we kill you now? Most likely. Their formation is broken. Excellent. Maintain the offensive. Alright, graveyard slash. For four, our Jester is in dire need of a heal. Ten points on him. Good, good. Let's uh, eliminate some stress on the occultus. And what do we got going on here? Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay. Let's use the key. Packs laden with loot. What do we got here? Value seven fifty. Two of those are seven fifty as well. What can we drop off, really? Not much I'd really like to get rid of for the loot. Um, let's check out the map. If this map, did it just show me these, or is there other things that can be found in this as well? Because I don't see anything to use a shovel on. I'll feel pretty dumb if I drop off all those shovels and that map just scouted out those particular squares. Hmm. Got food. We're probably going to need the food. Those are 250 a piece. I think we gotta let it go for now, guys. 
I think I will be dropping off those shovels at some point. I don't think I need them. But this is literally the second dungeon that we've done with the new patch. And I'm not sure if the scouts show all the rooms or if these dark rooms here... If those dark rooms are completely unscouted. So I actually want to go through a hallway. And I know we went through hallways already that were scouted. So I should have been able or should have been paying attention to that. Uh, unfortunately I wasn't. So, here we go. Now we have a trap. Um, Jester again, Highwayman, Highwayman. Let's not risk it. Okay. Loot. So nothing else showed up. Alright, at this point, I think, since we only have five torches left, this hall... I'm going to let it run, run darker. Ooh. I'm running into a lot of hunger tiles now. A fortune waiting to be spent. Because whenever we use our firewood here for our camp, we're going to be able to bring the light up. There is a lot of combat here, but I think we can handle it. All right, so we got double stress dealers. They are surprised. That's very good for us. Um, he is not in the second position, so not as good for us as it could have been. Let's get a little bit of damage on these guys. Can you hit that? The point blank shot it is. Be gone, fiend. Um, the slice off is good here. Put us back in the same position that we were in. I haven't transformed him yet. I could transform him. Let's do it. Alright, so we got nothing to hit the back row still, but... We can rake and buff. We knew that was going to happen. We're going to catch a little bit of stress. 21 is a lot more stress than I would like to take, but it seems to be the norm. Let again, another 21, 15. 15 is a little bit more manageable. Let's go ahead and start clearing off some of that stress. You can finish him off. Two points. He's catching more. Let's go ahead and transform him down. So we got rid of a little bit of stress on everybody. Yeah, I think this is worth. All right, he's back to being clear. Nice crit heal. Got the bleed though. Um, 19 point heal. And boom. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Let's move these guys back around. Um, a ruby over a key. I'll take the ruby. We are getting all sorts of very awesome loot in this dungeon. It almost makes me sad that I did not bring in an Aquarian. So that pack has been looted. That's the first dud that we've had. Uh, we did have some bad pools, but that's the first actual just... Surprised in the dark. We're about to rest. I think I'll do the transformation again here. The... So both those guys should be dead next turn. Let's do the slice off on him. Let's do point blank. And should I pull you forward? Or should I go, I mean...
you're going to be able to hit no matter what in the back. I think this is a good call here. Just load up the damage. Alright, we're going to take a coral. Tempting Goblet. 20. Graveyard Slash. And another Tempting Goblet. Stacking up the stress on him, I'm okay with. Let's get your stress down a little bit. The Rage... Or the rake. Let's see, you're gonna kill the back guy. If you kill him, that means he can't really do anything. He's gotta heal anyway. So let's take out the hardest hitting damage dealer. And let's kill the back. Or it can be dodged and we can get more stress. That works too. This guy's a dodging fool. Um, I say disregard the heal for the damage so we can avoid some stress. Alright, um, transform down. The heal was wonderful. Let's some of your stress. As victories mount, so too will resistance. As far as I see, it doesn't look like these shovels are going to be useful at all, so I'm going to dip them off for the jade. We are going to hit up this last room. That is a lot of stress. Goblet. Oh my god, so much stress. And the three point quarrel is probably the best that we could have wished for. Um, you've got to transfer. Put you in a bad place. Let's. Of the light. So we've gotten ourselves in a pretty bad spot here. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Well, we're gonna continue adventuring, that's for sure. We're gonna use our campfire. A moment of respite. A food. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. All right, unspeakable commune. And we're gonna go for gallows humor. Looking pretty good. Minus 30 stress. Alright, we got two left. He can de stress himself. Oh, he's got wound care. Minus 15% stress for four battles. Is lit. The path is clear. 
All we right. require only the strength to follow it. All that's left is loot. So everybody's pretty good here. There's no way we can really get the stress down anymore. It doesn't look like there's going to be any more fights to take advantage of. But there's a loot. Let's go until we hit a hunger tile. I think this requires a bandage. I was wrong. Is it a shovel? Well, let's try it. Alright, Blight. We'll take it. So we're just going until we hit a hunger tile. And we're not going to risk any more stress. Not going to risk any more stress at all. But we want to fill up our pack. I honestly didn't expect it to be this easy. We can always bring the Jester back out again. And he can take care of his own stress and other thing. I mean, he's in a bad way. Don't get me wrong. Uh, one good starting battle with a couple of stress dealers could put him over the edge. Would it be worth it? I don't think so. I think we should just uh, get our our value out of him. Let's pick those up. What is this? Is this no? Let's try out no. Just go in there. Okay, packing up some more stress then. So loot. The match is struck. Let's drop that for the that. Blazing star is born. And let's mosey on over here and see what our last piece of loot is. There's that hunger tile. Uh, yeah. What else can we drop? Bandage for that. I am become vengeance. All cultists will feel my mace. Brigands fear my roar. I am outnumbered, tis true. I am starved and half mad. But as long as there is breath in my body, I will press on. I will wreak unbearable agony on those who would seek to despoil my great manis. And now they come. I douse my torch. I do not fear the darkness. This is my house, and woe to the uninvited. Okay. All right. Uh, Trample Journal. We fought in the East Gallery, filled with portraits of our ancient lineage, uncaring witness to the slaughter. Alzarad, the fiery heartbeat of our... Retwine? Retinue? I, I don't know that word. I'm going to have to look that one up. Heartbeat of our retinue wrought keen havoc in our enemy's ranks. I keenly feel his absence, even as I remember voiding myself upon seeing his lifeless body fall. Blood pouring from his screaming mouth, some cruel knife having rent his lungs to gore. Yet, we're victorious. And thus, we press on. This is a violent journal with a word I don't know. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, that, that's it. We came out of here like bandits. Our stress is a little higher than I would have liked it to be with this particular party, since it has so much anti-stress in it. But that's okay. We're still coming out of this plenty good. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. So we got 23,700 gold just in loot. Wow. That is impressive. It doesn't look like anybody caught any bad quirks. He got Manslayer. Alright, so we've got a couple more level 3s. I'm very, very happy with how that panned out. Very, very happy. Risk and reward. A siren's call to the enterprising stalker. Alright, so we have a couple of new bounty hunters that we can get here. Um. So our guys are leveled up pretty good. 
what we're going to have to do next time is definitely pick a dungeon that we're not going to be taking the same guys in. We have a really good amount of money here, so taking care of somebody's quirks and things like that is something that I'd be very interested in doing. Maybe locking something in? I don't know. But let's go ahead and get a sneak preview of what we have. Okay. So this is going to be all medium dungeons. We have Kill the Necromancer. It's going to get us a tough ring. Plus 10% protect, 15% max hit points, minus 15% damage, but plus 10% stress. That's something that could be useful. We also have a Long Veteran Dungeon, which complete 100% of room battles, which would get us an Occultist only, plus 40% stun skill chance, plus 40% debuff skill chance, plus 1 crit. Hmm. Let's take a look at our rare trinkets here. Um, let's go ahead and unequip all of them. Sort by rarity. Okay, so we definitely have some nice trinkets already. What else do we got? Abomination plus 10 damage plus 3 speed minus 10 max hit points. Houndmaster. They really want to give us that ring. So I'm thinking maybe a long veteran dungeon next time. The boss fight seems a little risky, but I think maybe we can level up some of our veteran characters here and maybe tackle this. It might actually end up being very profitable to do so. The tough ring is... Uh, it's hard to pass up though. We're definitely not doing that. <laughs> so I think a long veteran dungeon is coming up for us next time. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at all of our provisions. I'll take a look at all of our bus, portraits, deeds, crests, and see what we can actually do in the manor here. And I'll get back with you next time. I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.